Hello, so we are not going to continue just yet with the Pong game thing that we're building because uh, I haven't quite got the programming finished up. Uh, but it's looking good, it's looking good. But, so I thought we'd do a kit set thing. Well, an educational kit. We're going to do this one. It's Electronics Lab with fiber optics. And we're probably not going to get too far in this because we're going to do it from scratch. But it'll be good, like, this will come back again. So I don't know what the fiber optics is really going to be about. Um, it's got a lot of extra components that aren't really fiber optic related. But let's just open it up. So here's what it looks like in this little book. It's got lots of interesting information in it. You can't really see that, but it's explaining all that kind of stuff. So we probably should pull that book out. Because otherwise it's going to be tricky. I can't pull it out. It's stuck. No, it's not. It is stuck. Okay. Well, I'm going to open this up first. It's a bit confusing how to open it. Um, trying to open it so that you can actually see what I'm doing. I think you have to open it this way. So this was $14.99 US or £12.99 in the UK. And I can be completely honest and say I've forgotten how much I paid for it. But it wasn't too much, I don't think. But it's kind of brand new. So let's have a look. I didn't buy it from a shop, but I did but I did end up buying it brand new. So there's the receiver. Uh, this is the fiber optic stuff. Uh, sorry, that's the transmitter. This is the receiver. And here's a pile of little components. So I'm probably not going to have the book looking at the camera because... And we don't need these just yet because I don't think we're going to get around to doing much tonight. Um, I don't want to make it too tedious, but it's going to be a little tedious because, oh my goodness, I just had it. Uh, that thing is just always disappearing. Where, there it is. Okay, I want this thing. So we're going to cut this. So there's a whole pile of wires. And it's one of these deals, which has all these little metal whatchamacallits. And how do they want... Oh, that's right. I know how this works. So we don't really need to do, read the instructions because I kind of know how it's going to work. We'll open this up. Whoa! And you can just put these in straight away. I'm just going to quickly have a look. Well, we'll make this. So I think it goes... Hmm, I think it goes like that. So they all fit in like this. So these are a bit different shape to what I'm used to. They're more like a diamond shape, but these ones are like thin at the bottom and they sort of consistently thick at the top, which is a little different. So you, you just shove these things in, like that, and can I work out what the colors of the resistors are? I'm sure the book will tell us. I'm going to make sure you can actually see what I'm doing. So I'm going to quickly shove these things in, and then it's going to get tricky. How much can I do before I just go, oh, this is terrible. Maybe we'll just do one video when we get started on this, and then we'll come back. So there's, there's your photo transistor. So that's obviously, this is a receiver, yes. It's just going to be connected to that somehow. And I'm assuming the rest of the circuit is just basically to make buzzing sounds or something. Well, there's a trans piezo transducer. So I think this is probably the thing that makes a sound. Um, and the other one over here doesn't have any sound making things, but it has a transformer in all this. So this just must be somehow, oh, it's going to be interesting to see. There's some oscillation going on there. So it's transmitting that way, but it seems awfully complicated just for something that transmits via light. So I'm guessing what happens is, is there a button on this one? There's a transistor, there's a high power LED, a capacitor, and some resistors in the battery place. But I can't actually see yet what's going to happen. So, how does the transmitter transmit anything? Uh, and, well, you can't really adjust anything. There's, nothing, there's no user input on the, um, the transmitter. So, we'll have to have a look at that in a minute, won't we? When we actually look at the instructions, we'll find out. Have I got all the... Where, where they will go? They're right here. Okay. That's like, I've run out already. And so let's just build the receiver. 
Though I feel that was an unwise choice. Maybe I should have started, given that there's less things on this one, <laughs> that would have been a bit more exciting. So maybe we'll do that. We'll stick it on this, and we'll start with we'll start with the the transmitter because a there's less components on it, and it won't take so long. So we can do this video. Will be about using this thing to do something, and the next video can be about building the receiver. But I'm just actually worried we're going to spend all the time just putting these silly little components in because uh, it, it's not as straightforward as you might think. Uh, well, you might not think it's very straightforward, in which case you are about to be proven correct. So if you've had a bad day when nothing has gone your way, which sounds like I'm going to start off to a song uh, for a sitcom, then then you're in luck because you're about to be proved so right that everything is going to be good if you like that kind of thing if it doesn't really doesn't really make you happy to be right all the time then you got three extra ones that's good then that's not going to help much so I'm just going to open the book so I'm opening up the book you can't see me doing this but I'm hoping it tells you how to build light-hearted technology so actually we'll just quickly go through the pages so this is light-hearted technology. What is fiber optics? Uh, we can't read that, but there we go. It's like light, light bouncing around in the tube is their, is their sort of way of doing it. There's some stuff about building circuits and how electricity works. Uh, and so this is all the deal with this kind of stuff here. And it's nicely got the... So that's how you're supposed to put these things in. Uh, that one goes that way. That one goes there. That one goes there. We can do that bit. The capacitors are all pretty straightforward. So the minus sign is going on the curved bit, as we'll see in a second. These things, this, the round bit is going like this, so the flat bit's on the other side. So that's what we need to know. And we'll get to the transformer. So that should be enough to get us started. So let's get, we don't even have, we do have, we have a 47. So, how do you open this bag? It's not pre-opened. Which is probably sensible. Okay. Um, opening up, and they all come out. One big pile. So that's our little that's our little speaker thing, and we need one of these. So I think the basically you pop the wires in through there. So. What we need is a sharp pointy bit. Oh my goodness, I had just the tool for that and I've left it in the other room. We'll just use this old school. I don't know what those two holes are for. Oh, I do know what those two holes are for. Right, so there's five wires on on the transformer. So I haven't done any, anything about transformers because I'm not, you know, I understand the basic concepts. I'm going to try and avoid talking about anything unless I feel reasonably complicated, uh, complicated, confident about talking about things. So we'll just do it the lazy way by getting somebody else to. Uh, this one is a 47 microfarad. So we haven't talked about capacitors yet, but that video is coming up soon. So I'm hoping to make something reasonably interesting. So this said high power LED. Which which one's that? Is that the red or the green? <laughs> Uh, the other one says just LED. Well, they're both. There's only two LED. Well, there's three LEDs. Uh, do you just get to choose? Well, these ones are a bit. This one's a bit. This one's a bit rusted. Is this actually one of theirs? Yeah. Oh, I'm just going to swap it out for this one. There. Here we go. Here we go. We'll just use this one. Uh, this is one from my desk. It's probably pink and it probably won't look as good. So it's going to go that way, I hope. And we do have to put a trans transformery thing in. Are these the same? These are the same. So they are the same transformery things. <laughs> I should not call them transformery things. I think this has been sitting around for quite a while because it looks like there's a little bit of oxidation on the uh, wires there or rushed as we might call it um, but not a lot I think it will be fine so that can just go in there so the, the theory is I'm going to put them all in and I'm going to open the box up and turn them all are all these the same thing this is 
an S9011. Uh, this is an S9011 and that's an S9. Well that's good, they've all made them consistent. You can't see that but it's an NPN transistor uh, which we will also be having a video about at some point. But this is kind of fun just putting all these things together. And look at this, they ha you don't even have to read the color codes on the resistors. They've just colored them with some heat shrink stuff so that you, you don't even have to know, which is, which is nice, I guess. You don't want to get bogged down. That's the kind of thing that would probably make a kid a bit depressed if they were doing this. That's a 47 microfarad as well. And this one here, are they all 47? This is 0.47. All right. Okay, so we're just going to put the yellow one in and then the red one. And then we are done, and we just have to turn it over. So that was actually a bit faster than I thought. All right, let's just open this box up. I don't know if I have the patience, though, to make an entire... Oh, don't fall out. Well, it doesn't matter if you do fall out, because it'll just put you back in again. So if you open up the bottom... One's fallen out. The red one fell out. Hold on, I'm just going to... Splay the wires a bit. Is that the right word? Splay? Uh, it should be. From now on it will be. Whatever you used before you were using the wrong word. Right. Oh, that's going to fall out. Uh, mm, mm, mm. Well, it should it should do something without having to build the other part, right? So this is the, trans, this is the transmitter. Uh, well, the whole thing fell out. Well, that's a bit rude. Okay. Did I even put the did I even put the 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 battery thing go in the right hole the battery cable in I think I did no I don't remember doing that because it's a long wire all right okay. okay let's just get this done we've missed one of the resistors that fell out but you've got to do this thing where you put it onto here but once you get the hang of it I don't remember this kind of stuff being very hard yeah, he says struggling to do it. Um, Where's, I'm going to move the book out of the way first here. Where's that appropriate tool for this? I'm going to, does it help to use some pliers? I feel like I shouldn't be using pliers because that takes away the, um, oh, this is harder than I thought. It just does not want to link up. All right. You just got to bend it and then there's a gap and then they go in the gap. Oh, okay. Come on, seriously. Well, we've done these before, haven't we? Because they were in that buzzer set. So that was that was pretty tedious, but those we got through those videos without too much trouble. <laughs> in the end, three parts for um, uh, one thing. I did see that they actually do make... Uh, I saw another one advertised. Oh with a collection of toys, which I might get. Oh, come on, just go. Here we go. We've got one in. One in. Oh, don't fall down the hole. <laughs> All right. So there has to be an easy way of doing this. Please. I think, I think, I think I've got this. Yeah. All right. It's not too neat, but it works. As long as nothing is touching each other. I kind of feel like it should just like wrap around when I just do this. And they should just fit in. Um, and then they'll be all good. But it's not going in the, the way I wanted it to. Alright, well, we'll just have to do this trick again. Ah, this is frustrating. Yeah, well, definitely what we'll do is we'll just make a painful, painfully long video doing this. For the transmitter and then I'll do the receiver uh, offline as it were and then we'll come back so oh, this one's going to be hard <laughs> so the little res the little transistor thing I better make sure I've got it the right way around uh, is going to be a bright royal um, pain as they say in places uh, gotta get rid of those little cardboard bits because they're really infuriating. So, uh, so take that one out. I can't believe I'm using this tool to do this. 
Oh, and I got some cardboard. And that one's just not going. Just let go. Go away. Stop holding on to this. Just, uh, that one just doesn't want to give up. All right. Actually, I'm going to do. I'm going to do the capacitor. Capacitator. Who says capacitator? Somebody said capacitator. Oh, it's not. Not going to go in. Just that through there. That's the way I wanted it to go in. I want it to go in like that. I don't know if you can see that, but it's gone in nice onto the side. That looks that looks right, but it's all wonky on the top now. And this isn't even the capacitator. It's the LED, which has thicker legs, which might be why it works. And I probably got it the wrong way around because I wasn't really paying attention. <laughs> oh. I've got to stop getting the box in front of the camera. I think that oh, it hasn't gone in. All right, so we had one good one good go at it, and then we'll just go it the other way. Uh, poor little LED. All right, there we go. That's in. So this is this is the capacitator. I'm not going to call it the capacitator anymore. I like I like an old person um, who's talking to their kid about an old film like um, Back to the Future. Is that that film where that person has the flux capacitator? Or what is it? Well, yes. Okay. So if I get the, these ones, have got to be got got to be straightforward. They are. Look at that. It's so much easier. They should all just have long dangly wires. And then that one goes there. There's actually a neat looking, ooh, neat looking old school electronics kit set on Trade Me, which is New Zealand's version of eBay, that I'd be quite keen to get, but it's a bit expensive. Um, but I do have some exciting, ooh, oh, well, hold on, these aren't even attached. Am I missing some holes here? It doesn't actually even use the other two. Well, that can't be right. Huh. Does it use all five on this? No, it's just using it as, a, as an inductor. Oh, okay. And I missed one of the holes. Right. I missed two of the holes. So then you only get one spare. Well, that's a bit mean. Um, right. So it's not using it as a full transformer, which is a bit strange. Because what I'm trying to get at is that these two wires at the back do not get connected to anything. So, but apparently all three of the other ones do, so... Oh, I know what this is going to do. So, I was going to do, at some point, there's this set by these, I, I know, whatever. Uh, I've seen other, other channels, they've done these sets from this series, and they're just basically, like, really simple circuits. But then they have this kind of complicated bit. Uh, to make the little this thing here make a high-pitched sound um, and the interesting thing is well oh I can see what's gonna I can see what this is gonna do this is exactly the same kind of stuff um, and it does it in a rather strange way but they they use I've forgotten the name of the um, the circuit but they use a center tapped inductory thing I don't know what the proper term is um, which we can discuss because I'm kind of wanting to be this to be educational, but at the same time, well, hopefully the book explains it. But if it's like the other brand, and it might be the same brand, I don't think it is the same brand, but it's probably about the same people. This one is going to be impossible to get in. <laughs> like, this is so mean. This is too close together. Uh, okay, I'm going to try and get the. So I'm trying. I'm trying to get the the transistor to fit in that hole, and it is tricky beyond belief. Uh, so what's the trick for this? Uh, there has to be a trick somehow. Maybe if I stick it on here first. Um, is that, that a good idea? No, that's, that sounds like a bad idea. But you know what? Sometimes the bad ideas are the best ideas. <laughs> or so I've heard. I've never heard anyone say that. But it's about time they started saying that. So is that going to work? It's not going to work, so that can go in there. Um, well, I've got one in, in a, in a horribly terrible way. <laughs> uh, well, maybe if I put one in, the other ones will get the idea, and then they'll pop in nice and easy. 
because they're all sentient. They've got three legs. They have to be. The sentient alien race of transistoroids from the plan the planet Transistortron. And please go in. So we've got two in. So that one was quite easy, but the last one's going to be a killer. <laughs> I'm going to break that thing. I do I do have some of these whatever number that is. I'm sure somewhere. Or well, we can find a suit suitable um, replacement, uh, uh, which will be those two n two 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 ones. Is that what they're number? Is that what they're called? Yeah, the two n. You know the ones. Because I've got a whole pile of those sitting right next to me. So <laughs> why go hunting for other ones when you can just use the ones? So if I bend the leg enough, and then I stick it in. Uh, can anybody see what I'm doing? Hey, I've done it. It's, it's in. It's in. I think. So I think, really poorly, badly done. <laughs> that little, that little tran, that little transistor is now wired up. That's wired up. That's wired up. That's wired up. Two of those are wired up, and we just need one more red one, and we're done. But of course, we haven't actually wired the top part up, and we've only got seven minutes left. <laughs> so. Well, you know, it was a good start to the video. So anyway, what I was just saying is it uses this, uh, I've, I've got to find it, the, the, it's a kind of oscillator circuit. Uh, where I, with, by somebody whose name begins with letter H, I think. Uh, so I'll have to look that up. So this is going to be exactly the same kind of thing. Which means it's probably going to be as fiddly as that. And it always seems like it's such a strange way of doing things. Because there are tons of ways of making oscillators that could make this thing make a high-pitched sound uh, and you're just like well <laughs> and you could have just replaced this with like a little buzzer thing and it would be just as effective it's not really t you know but I mean it, it kind of makes it neat because you get to make all these complicated things like but it seems like a strange use of a transformer but this is useful for like a kit that you could you, you could use this afterwards for something more complicated um, so what's going to happen is somehow uh, what does the where, where where are the remaining parts that I've got? So I better not lose everything. So we're going to come back to that. We've got these things here, which are obviously for connecting up. So which one is the? This must be okay. So this is the photo. This is the photo transistor. That doesn't make sense. This is a photodiode. So that's not it. Um, that's not it. That's not it. I'm not actually sure. Maybe I don't have that. Uh, I must have it. Because if I don't have it, I won't be able to do anything. Um, hold on. No, transistor, transistor. That, that, that. That's a photodiode. It's not a... F if it is anything. It's, it's an LED, but... Um, okay, well that's not it. So let's, well, let's see. What is it supposed to look like? I don't actually think I own any photo transistors, so I don't know what it will look like. Uh, can we see from the picture? No, because it's covered up. It goes under that little black cover. Um, I probably should have. It actually, it probably tells you there the easy way to put those things on. Uh, so we've done that, we've done that. So this one's just where you go there. So in fact it is. It's, are they sure that's a photo transistor? That's a photo diode. Um, so this here must be what they are going to refer to as a photo transistor, but that's clearly a, an LED diode. You can use LEDs to detect light. Um, they also work in reverse in some strange quirky way. So is that why it's gone rusted? So I'm glad I didn't use... It says I should have used the red one. That might make sense. It's probably like an infrared... No. They're like black, those ones. Oh, I don't know. Well, we'll find out what happens. At least I haven't lost it. So that's the important thing. <laughs> so, and that's the that's the correct thing there for now. Uh, what happens if we, we... Nothing's going to happen if we plug it in. But what we can do is we can quickly... How much time have we got? Four minutes. So we can test that they've got the LED wired up by getting some wires and showing you what you have to do next. Uh, I bet you this is like the first thing in the book. The first experiment is to make the LED come on. And we'll, we'll use the right color wire. Oh, they're different lengths, aren't they? 
All right, so we'll put one, it's much easier to do the top part. He says, not being able to do it. All right, and then that one, why have I got the book in the way? Now it's all like a mess. And it will look funny on the camera. So that one's, that one's connected up real bad. Uh, 100K, that's a bit too much. We just used a 1K one. Because this is coming from a 9 volt battery. So if you remember all that stuff about uh, resistors and what have you. So actually I've got to put that one over there, don't I? So that one's got to go to there. I'm just going to use the yellow wires for the whole thing. Because they're not, they're, they're, they're two different lengths. So they're not, you know, so normally you might use the blue to go to the negative side. And then... What have I done? No, 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 that's right. Okay. And then I want that one to go there. Uh, as per usual, I've forgotten what's just the anode or the cathode. Oh, I'm terrible at that. It's just, it's just a word you keep forgetting. I had a way of remembering it, and now I've forgotten it. I haven't said it enough. I guess if you teach that kind of stuff, you'll remember it. Uh, all right, so if I plug this in, the light comes on. So that was pretty cool. <laughs> the lights come on. That part works. It seems to be wired up correctly. Uh, but the next step will be to follow the instructions. But anyway, I hope that was interesting. We'll come back to this set later on. I will do the other one myself offline, as I said. And But I won't do the wiring, and we'll do the next time. We'll just go through, and we'll see how it wires up. And we'll talk a little bit about the circuit that you're actually making. Uh, and we'll just check up about what each of these things. That's not really, like... Yeah, we'll just go over what everything works how everything works, what everything works. That doesn't make any sense. And hopefully I won't lose all the parts before then. So thanks for watching. That was way too long. It was meant to be quick. Uh, and catch you later. And we will be going back to Pong. And I have in fact made another little Arduino game, which is a simpler game. Well, simpler to build and simpler to understand. So that's a more... So the Pong things turned out to be a little bit of an advanced project. Uh, we're going to do a more beginner's... Uh, Arduino game project as well soon after and I've already got that one all done and set up and ready to go so that will happen real soon uh, cool so thanks for watching like share and subscribe